Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I have Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun right here. I mean, I'm in his office live at Highline Community College up near Seattle. I've been gone for six weeks. I've been writing books. I must be rusty. This is our 14th time to try and shoot this one episode. Mike chose the hardest possible problem for me to try and do here. We have a beginning date and an end date. Figure out how many Mondays are between there. So I know we start out like this. We say equal row of indirect and we take the first date ampersand we're going to concatenate with a colon and the last date now those dates are really stored as like 40,120 or something like that and so what I'm actually doing there is I'm asking Excel to uh, coerce an array of dates when I press F9 check that out those two cells turn into 31 numbers in my formula if they were a couple years apart I'd have 700 numbers in my formula all right let's do control Z all right, now, here we go. So now that we have those numbers, we ask for the weekday of all of those dates. See if that's equal to 2. All right, when I press F9, now I get a bunch of trues and falses. Now, if I ran Microsoft, I would just add up trues and falses, trues being 1 and falses being 0. Lotus could do it. Excel cannot. So we have to do something to turn those trues and falses into 1s and zeros. I'm a big fan of using 1 times. You could also use minus minus. Oh, still Mike's trick. Um, press F9, and we get a whole bunch of zeros and ones. Now that I have that, all I have to do is add up that array. So sum of that whole big thing, and rather than press Enter at the end, we want to press Control Shift Enter to say that it's an array formula. Four. There we go. Let's just try something else. Let's put in a uh, a date further out. Three dash thirty one dash two thousand ten. Thirteen. Sweet, isn't it? All right. Undo, Mike. What have you got? All right, thanks, Mr. Excel. All right, um, I like that weekday. Um, I think I'll uh, do something slightly different. I'll use the text function. We'll do that equals row and then indirect. Oh, that's index. And we'll take this date, ampersand, shift seven. And then we're going to create a little reference here. Really, this is just like a range. That colon is just like you'd see A1 to uh, B2. Ah, but we have this date right here, this begin date, and this end date. So really, it's like a string of row numbers. Well, because we use the ampersand and the text here, it's considered text, but indirect takes the text, converts it to a reference, and then row says, hey, how many rows are there? All right, so instead of doing the weekday, we'll do text. Text takes a, a number because it's an array of numbers. It's going to be an array formula, and we want to format it, let's say, as a custom number format in quotes, second argument here, M, uh, let's see, this is D. D, D, D for day. That means Monday would be M-O-N, Tuesday will be T-U-E. So we'll close parentheses on that, and we will say whenever that is equal to M-O-N. Now I will put uh, close parentheses around this whole thing, and right now you can see it's trues and falses, uh, F9 and the Control-Z. We will put a double negative, which will convert it to ones and zeros, and we'll use, how about sum product. And then sum product, uh, we can just hit enter, and there we have a four. All right, I'm going to throw it back to Mr. Excel. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, all right, well, hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another great Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun.